The Speaker of Wisconsin State Assembly is acting with as much, if not more, power than the governor. Republican Robin Voss leads the state's GOP legislature. He has blocked nearly every move by Democratic Governor Tony Evers. Politico reports Voss is ruling Wisconsin as a so-called shadow governor. Daniel Vock writes, Voss is a, quote, rare specimen among state lawmakers and that he has done more than most in constraining gubernatorial powers. And Dan joins me now. He's a public policy reporter for Politico. Welcome, Dan. So how has Robin Voss become so powerful in Wisconsin politics? Well, there's, uh, first of all, thanks for having me, Elaine. Um, the... Robin Voss has been able to assert a lot of powers um, because obviously he is the speaker with a solid Republican majority. Um, he is aided by uh, uh, districts that help solidify the Republican majority, even though uh, Wisconsin, as you know, is a pretty big swing state. So he uh, knows the process. Um, he's pretty brazen, and he does whatever uh, he has the authority and the power to do. So I want to ask you more about him in just a moment, but what, what are some of the major policies that Voss has used his position to pass or keep from passing? Right. Well, I uh, remember for most of the time that Voss has been the speaker, he was speaker for uh, with Governor uh, Scott Walker. So some of these policies have uh, been in place uh, since the Republicans in control. But the new governor, uh, well, uh, Tony Evers, uh, has tried to push for, say, Medicaid expansion. He wants to expand the minimum or increase the minimum wage. Uh, he's fought for uh, more protections for unions. He wants to increase school funding. Um, he wanted more protections uh, in COVID uh, to protect uh, you know, stay-at-home orders and mask mandates. So all of those things have been thwarted uh, by uh, Voss and uh, the Republican-led legislature. Well, Governor Evers says he is running for re-election in 2022. How might Robin Voss factor into this? Well, I think one thing that Democrats are frustrated with is that they think that Robin Voss and Republicans in the legislature are intentionally blocking uh, Governor Evers from having uh, big victories that he can talk about when he's running for re-election. So, uh, you know, Robin Voss isn't going to give uh, the governor a chance to uh, make a name for himself, to point to things that he's been able to pass, um, things that are popular, such as the Medicaid expansion or minimum wage increase. Um, so I think that sets the stage. Uh, the speaker isn't running for governor. Um, there's still several Republican candidates out there, um, so he won't have a direct effect. But he does limit the effectiveness of uh, Governor Evers and also um, maybe even throws into question how effective of a governor he is. Yeah, I want to ask you about that, Dan. Um, Voss told you he is not interested in running for a higher office. What did you make of that, and how unusual or not unusual maybe is that in Wisconsin politics? Well, in Wisconsin politics, it sounds pretty unusual. Um, if you look at other legislative leaders, they've gone on to Congress, they've gone on the Senate, they've tried to go on to uh, higher office and failed. Um, so it is noteworthy that he's not doing it. Now, there are plenty of very powerful legislature, legislators around the country who have decided that this is their place um, and that that's where they're going to uh, make their career. So it's not unheard of, but I think in Wisconsin, it is pretty noteworthy. Yeah, that was going to be my question. I mean, does this kind of thing happen in other states, Dan? It certainly does. Uh, I'm originally from Illinois, and there was a speaker there for the better part of 30 years who uh, recently stepped down. Uh, you know, there's a Senate president in Maryland who uh, recently passed away, but he was legendary for his control of the state Senate there. So there are uh, several examples around the country um, but it does, it, it takes a lot of political um, skill to do that. And sometimes, uh, you know, you just have to be in the right state to have the right party uh, be in power for a long time.
Yeah, I didn't know you were from Illinois. I'm also from Illinois. I know you're talking about Illinois Democrat uh, Michael Madigan. So it's um, yeah. it's a small world, Dan. Um, yeah, we, we know about those longtime speakers. All right, Dan, good <laughs> to talk to you. Thanks so much. It's great to be here. Thanks so much for having me on.